This one type of journal spread has completely changed my journaling game. I know it sounds like hyperbole and that I'm exaggerating, but it truly has made a huge difference in my journaling mindset and in what I'm able to document every single year. And here it is, the simple spread that will make all the difference in your journaling is a monthly highlights spread. Again, I know it sounds so simple, so easy, but let me explain why this has made such a huge difference in my journaling practice. The first thing I love about month in review spreads is that it really allows me to capture both the big moments, the exciting things that happen in each month, but also the little things, the little joys of just everyday life. I can really pick and choose what of that month I felt was most important and bring it all together in one page. This means that I can really focus on what's important. What do I actually really want to remember about this month of my life? The fact is, as much as I love daily journaling and I think that there is a lot of value to recording every single day, I do recommend trying it for a month or two just to see what it's like. But the reality is that one, we don't always have the time to daily journal in that way. And two, we don't always necessarily have the time to look back on all of that journaling. And to me, one of the reasons for memory keeping and journaling is to be able to look back and reflect on memories that you have shared with others and that you have personally really enjoyed and just be able to walk down memory lane, as they say. And if you're trying to do that through pages and pages and pages of journaling for every single day, it's going to be a lot harder to look back on your life. And so when you limit yourself in this case to just a page per month, it helps you to really focus in on what do you actually want to remember about this time in your life. That may mean big events and exciting anniversaries or milestones, but it also may mean little things like a new favorite mug or a tasty treat that you really enjoyed. Your month in review spread can really be a place to capture anything that your heart desires. And I have a few examples of things that I personally like to include in my own month in review spreads, some questions or prompts that I ask myself as I'm reflecting on the last month. And what I did is I created a free printable for you to use in your own journaling. Just to give you a few ideas of the types of things I like to think about. I like to think about my favorites of the month. So favorite books I read, favorite movies or TV shows that I watched, maybe a favorite song or a recipe that we tried. I might also like to think about hobbies that I have been enjoying during this time, a new activity that I've been doing and really enjoying. I also like to reflect on the events of the last month. So I typically will go to my calendar and remind myself what happened in the month, things like hanging out with friends or maybe some work events that I participated in. There might also be world events or things that have been in the news that I want to be reflecting on and including in my month in review spread. I also like to do some self-reflection and really think back on the month in terms of how I have grown as a person, maybe things that I have learned, milestones or goals that I have achieved, maybe something difficult that I was able to overcome. And finally, one of my favorite things to do with my month in review spreads is really reflect on the season that I am in. That can mean in terms of the weather and nature. You know, if it's fall, maybe I have lots of leaf stickers involved and I'm reflecting on just how beautiful the foliage has been. I also like to think about seasons in terms of just different stages of life and what season I personally may be in. So these are all things that I like to think about when reflecting on my month. As I said, there is a free printable that you can be using for your journaling to help you reflect on each month. You can go over to patreon.com slash myabidingjournal and check out the video post for this video 
and I have the attachment there. So go ahead, print that out and enjoy. The other reason I love this form of journaling is that it is so much easier to make the time to journal. Not having enough time to journal is one of the biggest excuses I hear when it comes to people who say they can't memory keep. It's mostly because they don't feel they have enough time to sit down and record their days. But here's the thing about month in review journaling is you really just need time to create 12 entries in a year. But the thing about having the month in review spreads is I feel so much less pressure to do my regular journaling and catch up on it because I know that at least that memory or moment or whatever it is that I thought I wanted to create a whole huge spread for, at least I know it's captured in my month in review spread. And in this way, it's much harder to get behind in journaling because it doesn't matter if you missed a day, it doesn't matter if you missed a few days, a week, the entire month, all you need is one day, an hour or two to sit down with your journal and reflect back on the month. The other thing I love about these month in review spreads is that it is so much less pressure to get it right. I feel so much more freedom to create on these pages and just have at it and not feel so bogged down by the aesthetics of how it looks and trying to get the right proportions of negative space or layering things in a beautiful way. For me, these pages are just about getting the memories down, whatever that looks like. And the idea is to just fill the page entirely. There is no negative space. There is no blank space on these pages for me. Doesn't mean that it has to be the way that you create yours. But for me, by making it so that it's just a full page of memories just exploding in every corner of the page, it means that I don't have to think about layouts, I don't have to think about design, at least not in the typical way that I would for a normal journal spread. I really can just focus on getting the memories down. Maybe I think about colors a little bit and how they're working together on the page, but there's just a lot more creative freedom for me when creating these type of spreads. And because I'm filling the entire page, it allows me to just start wherever. I can put a little memory down here in the corner, come back a few days later, add one here, add another here, and then just fill in around all of the memories I've already put down until the page is full. That means that I don't have to think about design and layouts as much. I just go at it. I just start putting memories down on the page and it always organically just turns into a beautiful spread. The next thing I love about these month in review spreads, it is the experience of looking back on my life. There is something so special about flipping through just 12 pages and getting to see how full they are of memories and experiences, things that you did, people you met and spent time with and love, things that you learned or experienced for the first time, and things that were happening in the world around you. It is truly your life at a glance. And as you create these monthly spreads year after year, you're going to be able to also see patterns and traditions that you start to form. You'll be able to see the different seasons of your life. Maybe you look back at your different years and see a season where you were single and now you're married and maybe the next season of your journaling is gonna have your first experience of having children. Whatever it may be, it will be so special to be able to look back at multiple years a month at a glance over and over again and be able to compare them and reflect on them and see how your life has changed but also stayed the same in really beautiful ways and I just think there's something so special at being able to see your life at a glance in that way and it also I think will be really special if you are somebody who was thinking about your journal 
as something that you would pass on to future generations. I think this type of journaling, a month in review style of journaling, maybe with some yearly journal spreads thrown in, is the best type of memory keeping journaling to pass on because it's digestible, for lack of a better word. It's something that somebody could sit with and flip through and really just gain a sense of who you are and what you've experienced without having to go through thousands and thousands of journal entries that you've created throughout your entire life. It is amazing how special it will be for you to have those pages to look back on, even if that's the only journaling you do at all. You don't even have to do other journaling. I encourage you to. Of course, if you're here on my channel, I'm always encouraging you to do more journaling if you can. But you could just have 12 pages from this year and you would be amazed, amazed by how many memories you can squeeze into 12 pages. And the final reason I have fallen in love with this type of memory keeping and creative journaling is that I feel it is the perfect gateway to journaling for beginners. I think that if you are somebody who has always been interested in creative journaling and memory keeping, but you feel overwhelmed by starting a journal and trying to keep up with daily entries or even weekly entries, super regular entries, I think if you started with a journal where your only goal was to create 12 pages, to document each month of the year, I think that would make it so much easier to start and keep the practice. And I think you would be really amazed by how many memories you would be able to save just by doing that one simple practice of journaling 12 times a year. So whether you are completely new to journaling or you are somebody who already enjoys doing creative journaling and memory keeping, but maybe is looking for another way to make it a more sustainable practice for you, or maybe you're looking for something to take off some of the pressure that you feel with your other journaling, I really think this is a great solution and it is something that you can create an entire dedicated journal for like I plan on doing this next year or like I've done in the past two years. You can just incorporate it into your existing journaling, whether that's a junk journal or a bullet journal, whatever it is you are already using, you can just start incorporating month in review spreads right now. If you want a deeper look at my month in review spreads from this last year, I do have a video that is an in-depth flip through of the first six months of my journaling. So that is six months in six pages and you can check that video up here in the cards. I'll also have it linked at the end of the video for you. I also have a video that is a live stream recording that I did with my patrons where I create one of these month in review spreads from start to finish. So if you really want to see my entire process, you can check out that video. And I have another one coming out very soon. And also coming out very soon will be the last six months of my month in review journaling. So another six months and six pages. That will be the last ones for this last year. And I'm going to be doing an in-depth flip through of those for you as well. So lots of content coming your way. Do make sure that you are subscribed. But for now, that is going to be everything. I really hope that this video has inspired you to try month in review journaling, document the highlights of each month on a page, it really is a game changer. I know it sounds so straightforward and simple, but believe me, it will change how you journal and how you experience reflecting on your journaling. So I would love to know down in the comments if this is something you are going to try this year or if it's something you already incorporate in your journaling. Like I've said, I did not invent the wheel with this one. It is not really something new, but it's something I feel very passionate about. I really think that everybody should do month in review journaling. Everybody, even if you don't journal, I think you should start 
monthly review journaling. It is just such a special way to document your life and reflect on what matters most to you and how you have grown and changed. And I I just love it. I can't recommend it enough. So let me know if you are going to try it for yourself. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about my month in review journaling, definitely check out this flip through or you can check out my latest video for more journaling content. And until next time, keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life abiding in faith, hope, and love.